Hi friends, it's Danielle with North Lawn Flower Farm. Today we're going to be tackling one of the biggest garden renovation projects that I've ever attempted. We are going to be completely transforming the orchard, removing all of the bird cherry trees, the rows of Sharon trees, and starting almost from scratch in this area. And in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the tree removal and installing a beautiful privacy screen courtesy of Plow and Hearth. Now, I have to send a really big thank you, not only to Plow and Hearth for their generosity, but to every single one of you for watching this channel, engaging with the videos, teaching me about what's going on in your garden, and just for being here. It is not lost on me for one second that without you and your generosity that I would never have been able to tackle this project. I simply wouldn't have been able to afford it. But thanks to you, I've been saving up all of our YouTube money to tackle this problem that I have over in this area. So you can probably see these large trees. I believe that these are bird cherry trees and they were grandfathered in, but they are actually illegal trees on our property now. They are way too low. They are reaching into the road and anytime a truck drives by, they literally hit the trees. It's become a huge problem to have them here on so many levels. I've always been afraid that a branch is going to fall on a customer's car and they also drop a lot of pits all over the sidewalk. Once again, kind of a safety hazard for my neighbors and customers. So being able to remove these trees after eight years was a ginormous blessing and it really allowed me to see the area with new eyes because I think, you know, are you like me? Sometimes an area seems so overwhelming, so overgrown, so out of control that you don't even bother to try to control it. Instead, you just ignore the problem. That's what I did with this entire garden ever since we moved in. It just seemed too big of a problem to tackle. So we did hire two wonderful Amish gentlemen to remove all of those trees, and then I got straight to work. So the first thing that I did was I installed this custom privacy screen for what is technically considered our second front yard. We are on a corner lot, and so this area that we're working in, of course it is the backyard, but technically for zoning purposes, it's our second front yard. And so because of that, I'm not allowed to install a permanent fence in this area. So I thought this is a great opportunity to get creative, not only from a gardening standpoint, but also from a business standpoint. Now, you know, I have those beautiful hummingbird arbors that I got from Plow and Hearth. So I went back to their website and I saw that they have matching trellises. And I thought, if I just put these trellises, push them into the ground, one right after another, secure them with zip ties, that I could create a custom privacy screen for my garden and also a advertisement wall for my business. So what I had once viewed as a problem for this area actually became an opportunity to make something special and different in my garden. Now, of course, I'm using these beautiful trellises as a privacy screen, but they also look beautiful as standalone trellises. I put one into the hydrangea room and I have a false hydrangea vine climbing up it. I think trellises are really a wonderful way to add height, interest, and also dimension to a garden because you can take a few trellises and create an archway, you can create an entrance, you can create a privacy screen, or you can just use them for their intended purpose as a singular trellis. So once we had the privacy screen installed, Grace was able to come back into the garden with me. And that's when we started on basically taking a neglected garden and giving it some much needed TLC. 
Now as I contemplated what direction to take this garden in, I just kept thinking, what do I want from this space? What I've always wanted from this space is peace. I've always felt a lack of peace in this area, a lack of privacy in this area, and so that's what I want, peace and privacy. And for those reasons, I've decided to keep this garden almost 100% green. So of course I wanted to add in some hydrangeas and I discovered that Proven Winners has a new hydrangea called Sublime. I love smooth hydrangeas. I love green hydrangeas. I often talk about Limetta, which is a smooth hydrangea. So I was able to get my hands on five Sublime hydrangeas and added them all throughout this area just to have some peace, comfort, and my favorite plant, the hydrangea. Now that I had a clear vision for this garden, I wanted to bring it together with my other gardens and also punctuate the entrance point for this area. And because of that, I decided to add a thin man arborvitae into Grace's garden and also the hydrangea room to kind of help pull them together and make it feel like a nice entrance to this entire space now. Now this is the view that is now the view of my garden from the exterior, the same exterior shot that we started with at the very beginning of the video. And I just can't believe this is the same space. You can see the Kusa dogwood now. You can see my hydrangea room now from the exterior of the property and from the interior. It really does feel like a peaceful space where you can sit, relax. And you know, I often talk about gardening as a painting and a painting needs a wonderful backdrop. And finally, I have a beautiful backdrop for the painting that I'm trying to slowly and lovingly create right here in my home garden. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you for part two of this renovation sometime soon. Bye friends.